Let's suppose we have a function y equal to f of x and that we have two values in the domain of the function. Then we defined the rate of change of the function on this interval. Let me write that down. As the number f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Notice that if this is a, this point is the point a, f of a, and if this is b, then this point in the graph is b, f of b, and we can see that if we compute the slope of the line that goes through these two points is exactly this. Then the rate of change is the slope of the line that goes through these two points. Let's see an example. If we have f of x equal x squared minus one, and we have the interval zero, five. What would be the rate of change of this function on this interval? Then in this case, a is zero, b is five, and this is the function. Then the rate of change will be f of five minus f of zero, over 5 minus 0 and the and this is f of 5 is 5 squared 25 minus 1 is 24 f of 0 is negative 1 then it's minus negative 1 over 5 and then we have that it is 25 over 5 and this is equal to 5 then the rate of change of this function on this interval is five. Let's see another example. If we have f of x equal one over x, and we want to compute the rate of change on the interval three, six. Then by definition, we need to compute f of six minus f of three, over 6 minus 3 and this is f of 6 is 1 over 6 minus 1 over 3 over 3 and what is this this is 1 over 6 minus 2 over 6 is negative 1 over 6 divided by 3 and you do a division by multiplying by the reciprocal and then it's negative 1 over 18. Okay, these are two examples. Um, using the rate of change, we can define the notion of an increasing... Using the rate of change, we can define the notion of increasing and decreasing functions. Let's see that. Uh, one way to define increasing is like this. We say that f of x is increasing on an interval a, b. It could be a, b like this, or it could be a, b like this, or a, b like this. If for every pair of numbers, in the interval, the average rate of change is positive. Notice that increasing means that if we pick two points in the domain and we consider the slope of the line that connects these two outputs, this slope is positive. That means that the function is always going up. And we say that the function is decreasing. Decreasing on an interval, if for every pair of numbers in the interval, the rate of change on that interval is negative. And in this case, decreasing means that the function is going down. Uh, let's see some examples. Here for this function, we can say 
that the function is increasing. I'm not analyzing this function here. It's increasing on the interval two, four. Notice that for every pair of numbers between two and four, when we compute the average rate of change, it's going to be positive. Then it's increasing here and it's decreasing on the intervals negative infinity to two and four to infinity. For the blue function, we can say that it is always decreasing. Then we can say decreasing in the interval negative infinity to infinity. And for this function, the red function, we can say that it is increasing on the interval negative infinity to one and decreasing on the interval one to infinity. Notice that in this case, this number one is, the, is a maximum value for the function and for values in the domain that are smaller than one, all these values, if you pick two points, you're going to get a positive average rate of change, which means that the function is increasing. Same thing if you pick a pair of numbers that are after one and you compute the average rate of change, uh, you will be getting a negative slope or you will be getting a negative average rate of change, which means that the function is decreasing.